Stephen Hobbs after more than 10 years in the Harris County Jail. His hair longer and grayer, the yellow jumpsuit for high security inmates. Hobbs is a suspected serial killer. These are all allegations at this point. We're going to see what we can prove at trial. The 51 year old was back in court for a hearing as his capital murder trial nears. He's accused of killing Sarah Sanford and Patricia Pyatt, and he's a suspect in the murder of Wanda Trombley. He is also charged with two rapes, one kidnapping and two aggravated assaults with a deadly weapon. Investigators believe he used his job as an armed security guard to prey on sex workers in East Harris County between 2002 and 2011. Today, the court saw him in his uniform as the defense argued to suppress his 2011 videotaped statement to Pasadena police. He invokes his right to counsel. Mandy Miller says Hobbs asked for a lawyer after just two minutes in the interview room and believes the rest should be thrown out. The state argued the actual attorney request came after Hobbs talked for more than an hour about how he liked to pick up women for sex. We don't believe he was clear at the beginning of the statement. Judge Natalia Cornelio will rule over the next few weeks. Prosecutors said they expect to have living victims on the witness list, those who got away. Hobbs, a married father of two sons, is the longest serving inmate in the Harris County Jail. New DNA testing, Hurricane Harvey, and the pandemic were all obstacles over more than 10 years. He's been in the Harris County Jail for a very, very long time. Trial is now set to start next month. It's definitely been a long time, and it's time for closure for all parties involved. Okay, now Jessica, after years of covering this story, what surprised you about today's hearing. Yeah, Eric, I think two things. The defense wants Hobbs, who is charged with two counts of capital murder, to not be shackled during trial because of how, of how it might look to a jury. The state strongly opposes that. The court has not yet ruled on that. Also, we learned today that apparently before his arrest, Hobbs applied to the Galena Park Police Department for a job. Had he been hired, of course, he would have potentially had more power over his alleged victims. Remember, Hobbs was a security guard licensed to carry a gun. Eric? Even more twists to this story. Jessica, huge update there. Thank you.